and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our third and final part of our uh, rank up stream, our try hard rank up stream here with Lucian Fury. This is a deck that I really like playing, a deck that I think is really strong. Um, before today, as y'all know, I was 21 and 2 with this deck, so I was really excited to just take it, just take one day and uh, try it to see how high we could get up in the ranks. But if you checked out part one or part two, you saw that we really struggled um, to start with. We had opponents just have everything. And we started, let's see, what was our record? Three and nine? Three and nine. I mean, when you when you have such a, a hot winning streak like that, you know, we had to have a real cold losing streak. So it's unfortunate that we started that bad. But we've won five of the last six, and now we're going to be going with our third part here. Those y'all watching on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, having a day like this where we just focus on playing like one deck that I that I feel is really good, and um, actually trying to get like the highest rank that we can. This is something that I haven't done at all with Legends of Runeterra. Um, so let me know if y'all like this or if you like the you know the variety. We're going to mostly be doing the variety. This is something that maybe I would do. Uh, like once a month or something like that, you know, like every once in a while when we really find a deck that I like a ton Or you know, like if, if y'all if y'all really like this, you know, we'll do it more and you know We'll actually try to get you know, like we could do this more and try to get towards uh, the top of master's rank, but for now we are starting at 876 we're gonna be playing for about hour 20 minutes hour and a half something like that and uh, Just play eight or nine games and see how high of a rank we can get so here we go back to some more Lucian Fury. Um, we could change the board up. I don't know. I feel like this is this board's kind of good luck, but we'll go over to the Hall of Valor, I guess, just to change the music up so it's not the same background music all the time. We could do that. Two thousand ninety-three. We're not down that far yet. All right, so I really want Omen Hawk, Fleet Feather Tracker, War Chefs, Lucian. Those are the four cards that I want the most in my opener. We got one War Chefs. Mage, Mage Seeker, um, you yeah, know, Spooky Mage Seekers. This is a real good deck. I don't, I, I don't know if they're playing my version. Um, or if they got their own version. It's definitely a deck I really like. It's a really powerful deck. They can um out power us if we're not fast so that's why i mulliganed all those cards i really wanted one drop all right excuse me especially how we had the attack token turn one um yeah so i really wanted a one drop now this is where we would like this is where they'd have um I guess I could go Bright Seal Protector. No, I don't want to do Protector. Feel the sizzle. So where they're probably going to have Remembrance. That's that's the worst thing for me to see and the best thing for them to have. So, of course, they have Remembrance. And therefore, after Remembrance, I don't have a good attack. And so that's why I just hit him for two first. Hey, Danny. Oh Gucci! Oh no! I I did I completely missed that. You you changed the board for Bilgewater. I will change the board to Bilgewater after this game. I am sorry. Slow down, will you? Yeah, I'm standing up while I'm playing. There was hope. Yeah, that worked really well. I'm going to be pretty surprised if we win this game. Cool, you like the try hard day? 
Cool. <laughs> it's okay, he forgot as well. <laughs> side by side, into battle. Dang. Lancer created that? Okay, they, they got this game. That's the attack that I can make. Not good. Set her free, you monster. Okay, cool, Cabo. Cabo says, uh, yeah, said previously they'd like to see a series where I try to get rank one. You see, you do more of this stuff. Cool, yeah, will do. Crystal Dranger would do two damage. Bring me chaos. A cut above the eyes. Play Withering Whale. I like to have him out. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so my plan was to like do the challenger on the uh, Grizzled Ranger and then Battle Fury it, and I was going to kill the Thresh to start with. That was my plan. Plan didn't work out. cards over there. Their guilt is evident. It's a great turn for them. Double single combat plus Mage Seeker. Persuader. It's a good turn. They've already had a bunch of good turns. We can do this. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, I needed Sejuani. I see you have no alibi. Who does 
not know the name Laurent. Okay. There's definitely some things that can go wrong. In a long path to get here. Interesting. Interesting. By the light. I wonder what that's about. Attack. Run them through. Pause them there. So down to one. The problem is they, they could just not play anything. So I need to do this first. Um, we don't... Single combat doesn't get us. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't go for a protege. The Witcher's Claw, they would have just targeted protege. That would have been difficult for me to deal with. <clears throat> yeah, I do have I do have a good uh, Sejuani Ash list. Um, there are let's see, I can find it for you. Um, there is a change that I recommend making to it. Is there's a caught in the cold in the the list? I recommend um, playing Culling Strike instead. And there's also a Katarina. That could be a Culling Strike too. So like, you could just go two Culling Strikes. Um, the Katarina, the Culling Strike. That's close. You can you can go either way. Yeah, GG's. That was not a game I was really expecting to win. Ash, all right, so Ash Sejuani is all about combat. Maybe I should keep this Fury of the North, actually. Usually I mulligan that card. But maybe I'm supposed to keep this card because of how much this matchup is about combat. One drop. Ugh. I wish I would have mulliganed this other Bright Steel Protector. Oh, change the board. I forgot. I could have... I forgot. There's a chill in the air. They're out there. I'll spot them. Can't change the board during the game. Got your back. Burn away the shadows. There's no use for the calling or for the uh, single combat there. Baloney Pony, yes, all is well. Thank you so much for the continued subs. I appreciate that, getting that Twitch Prime in here. Whoa.
<clears throat> Not 63. My shield is yours. Okay, one ash down. Good card draw. Just kind of fits the curve here. We can have the Omen Hawk challenge, the Avaros and Sentry. Honor guide me. That works. The extension is on your side, Ran. Uh, Ran. Ran. Uh, yeah, you have to, yeah. I I can't, I don't control where the extension is or anything. That's on, you can move it and everything and minimize it and get rid of it and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's something that it, it's kind of not intuitive. Yeah, I know when you watch it on Twitch like that, the extension that shows the deck list and everything pops up and looks like it's in the way. What are they going to play? If I play Scythria and then Sejuani before attacks, what are they going to play to punish me from doing that? Maybe their own Sejuani? Show them what we're made of. That shouldn't be too bad anyway, though. Bow to no one. Mother will unite us all. My steel is yours. Stand and fight. Tread carefully. Over there. Tread carefully. How do they block Sejuani? Guess they got Fury of the North. So even Fury of the North doesn't make that block make much sense. I don't know. I'm gonna just let this damage happen. We only put him down to one anyway. They walked around. That seems like the worst possible block they could make, doesn't it? Isn't it the worst possible block you can make? Like they could just have like the five five eat the four damage instead. Of I don't know. I'm confused a little bit. So not a whole lot of difference between Omen Hawk and Lucian right now. I mean, I kind of feel like they're gonna go for reckoning and just kill all these things. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Uh, they draw two. We could still go reckoning. Um, do I want to save anything? So I, I should, I just shouldn't even play the Omen Hawk. I shouldn't have played either one. The calm before the storm. Again, it's not it's not necessarily lethal with Fury next turn. They 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 play all sorts of like harsh winds and stuff like that. I just should, I shouldn't have played that Omen Hawk. I knew about reckoning. We talked about it, like that's why I didn't play this Lucian, but I just shouldn't have played the Omen Hawk. Watch Lurk. Oh. Oh. Stand for what's right. Fight 
like the animal you are. So harsh winds makes it makes attacking difficult. Just going to the straight attack. Clutch brittle steel. All right, so see this blocks here, this blocks here, this blocks here. They take two damage, and these two are dead. This is dead also. Two of their things die. No, I, I don't regret not opening attacking. Lose all three of these, and they lose two, and I get two damage in. No. Let's see what you've got. They're coming. Hide. All right. Well. Bar the doors. I was gonna attack with the Grizzled Ranger also. I mean, I guess the Grizzled Ranger just just dies. Actually, no. Yeah. So never mind. It's good that I didn't attack with the Grizzled Ranger. So basically, like the the Lucian block was free, which I did not want. Sharpen the blade. Secure the kill. Victory requires a sharp blade. The tall is a mountain and covered in ice. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think that's uh, that was my mistake was not blocking. Yeah, I think you're right. I should have just had the, um, I should have just had my Sejuani block. I should have my Sejuani block. Whenever whenever they attacked with no mana and I I played the Fury of the North to kill one, I should have had the Sejuani block the other. And then they would have no cards, and then I'd have my two things, and I'd open attack, and they would have to harsh winds, and then they wouldn't have anything else. That that was my big mistake. I completely agree. That was my big mistake. Yeah, that, that was my big mistake this game. I need to top deck Sejuani. Darn. I need that to I need them to not have a frostbite card, that to be Sejuani, go here and then have the overwhelm damage kill them. I need a lot of things to go right for me. Yeah, I mean, I made a couple of mistakes. Playing the Omen Hawk when I did was a mistake. I knew about Reckoning. Shouldn't have played the Omen Hawk. I should have just just passed, kept passing turn. And then, yeah, basically that that turn, like that turn was the the turn I made the big mistakes. Because yeah, I shouldn't have done the Omen Hawk, and then I should have 
even after that, I should have made the block with the Sejuani also and traded it off. Yeah, they they play. Yes, they. <laughs> I play against that deck a lot. They play. They play a lot of harsh wins. That is absolutely in their deck. Play the tracker with us having the attack on turn one. They don't. This deck doesn't usually have one mana cards. We have more damage across right now. I'll try anyone. Don't get in my way. I love a taste of the action. Yeah, you can definitely play judgment on a ladder as a surprise. Uh, swing card. It, I would just have one. It's a card that can uh, can definitely win games for you. Yeah, that's that is absolutely reasonable. Let's see what you can do. Look what you. So basically because of Transfusion, I didn't want to attack with Lucian. So this has my Lucian leveling up. So I'm gonna be playing Warshift and Duelist. I'm gonna have I'm gonna give the challenger to the Babbling Bjerg. Where Babbling Bjerg can Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. Challenge the Yasuo. Uh, it definitely feels like they have they have a stun card, right? Like they probably have like that's it's probably what they have is a three mana stun card. You would be right to fear me. This is mercy. So this would force them to use the stun card on No one goes hungry. If they want to keep Yasuo alive, they got to use it on the Babbling Bjerg. And then hopefully we have another attack. We should. Let's get a good look at you. Oh, it's on. Hmm. Fusion. Okay. That's bet. That's a lot better for me because now my my warships is not dying. Oh, this hurts. To the face. Eat up, friend. But their Yasuo is alive. Get to jump block. Uh. 
All right, I'm pretty good spot. We got rid of a lot of cards. They only got four over there. We have an extra card. Anything for the right coin. Guess that's one way to do it. Kind of annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. Been a long path to get here. Because that's going to kill that, which will trigger the Lucian. But I already have the attack token, so now I don't get to trigger the Lucian anymore. Hey, that's awesome, Mr. Q. You're top eight in the tournament that you're playing with the Heimer Lux deck. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, glad to hear it. Yeah, I really like that Heimer Lux deck. Awesome, good job. Can we finish this out? I'm not as confident as I was a little bit ago. Rough technique. Good results. They cannot hide. I should just challenge the Shadow Assassin, force them to block these other things. Fight like the animal you are. Well, they needed they needed a couple of things to stay alive. That will keep them alive. But everything everything's dead. We still got our six drops. Okay. 
All right, I now remember bilge water board. Bilge water board. We're gonna change the board to bilge water. Bilge water board. Bilge water board. Change the board to bilge water. Two and one. We survived. Man, we won one and lost one and we went down a hundred ranks. So you go two and one and you are basically in the same spot as you were at the beginning. Okay. I'll change the board because we had the and somebody redeem points to change the board to build water. Here we go. Uh, yeah, Heimer. Yeah, Heimer Lux against Deep can be tough. Um, Unyielding Spirit's an important card for that matchup. Unyielding Spirit on Lux. our first game today playing against a control deck. This is our 21st game of the day. This is our very first one against a control deck. <laughs> Even though this, this really plays more of like a mid-range deck, honestly, than a control deck. Because they... These two champions can win games super fast, especially Heimerdinger. Games that they don't find those champions and don't slam them, you know, on turn five, it's pretty easy to win. It's the, those games that are tough, so. Hopefully they don't have the champions. They got a perfect hand so far. All right, let's miss Us, on the other stuff. hand. Basically everything costing one through three, not having anything to play on turn three. That hurts. Pretty surprised they took that, to be honest. With, like, I'm pretty surprised they didn't block there because I have this challenge that's pretty easy. So like how like this hand you know with the, that kind of elusive elusive threat like that the three mana four three that kind of hand's not really a control hand so it's more of a mid range deck. They want to not attack. I'm fine with that. Okay, all right, I'm fine with that. Carved from the savage cold. Alright, 
got rid of that card. Take it, not a bad turn. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, that one hurts. I wish I could play the duelist with the Scythria. Really wish I could play both of those. All right, so I challenge, or so I do the single combat. We kill, kill Vi, and then this challenge is here. We hit them for nine, puts them down to eight. But I'm I'm kind of out of gas at that point. Yeah, I'm kind of out of gas at that point. Play this at three of the next turn. What seems to be the problem? Show them what we're made of. Why do they have to have that card? Why does that card have to be a thing? They probably only played two of the Barrier Lifesteal card, right? So, probably don't have any more Lifesteal. Probably. Twin Disciplines is certainly an option. I'm probably debating between, like, Twin Disciplines, Get Excited, that kind of stuff. What to use right now.
nine. No, 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 okay, Whew, that was close. Oh, give an ally challenger, okay. A cut above the rest. They basically can trade with like have these things traded no matter like however they want anyway. Looks like they got this one. Too much Heimerdinger value. You know, four or five free turrets. Too difficult to overcome. Answers. I have them. What's the plan? We shoot them. Ten thirteen. Dang. Two and two. Went from just go five hundred. Go two and two. Go from eight seventy six to ten thirteen. Yuck. You lose so much from from one match. Yeah, we just lost what almost two hundred ranks from one one match. It's like, come on, they have two Vi's and two Heimerdingers. You know, they draw four of the six champions. What? Like, come on. It's not fair. Well, 
So... Is my current rank still 1013? Okay, so it didn't change. Okay, so that... What happened? Like, I guess something got messed up with the pairing, I guess. Like, whenever it paired us together. Because my rank didn't change, so it's not like my opponent conceded. Because it seemed like that was even too fast for an opponent to concede. So yeah, I think that just something got messed up with like the pairing, like we got disconnected or something. So yeah, didn't count as a win. No contest. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. I don't really have anything to, to uh... purity and peace. I don't really have anything to challenge with the protege. My gun does the talking. Chase the glory. Use barrier. Cool. So we're trading. This is a great trade. We're trading. Uh, Fleet Feather Tracker and Single Combat for um, War Chefs and Repost. Good trade for us. All right, let's mess some folks up. And so at the end of it, we had both spent all of the mana the first three turns, but we have a Senna in play. But, you know, like, we still even on cards. Like, so, like, we have two things in play. They have one. They have an extra card in hand. Turning that into a 3 1, because that's really good for my protege. Break their spirits and their swords. For king and country. Bleh. I demand a heart. Will ya? In a long path to get here. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, we'll take six from Grizzled Ranger. I suppose. Got him. Patience. Tis a virtue. Bow to no one. All right, let's mess some folks up. Missed a chance to run. Pause in there.
Don't want them blocking my Scythria, and there we go. We survive. Better to have Sejuani than not have Sejuani. Here. Back up to 875. Alright, so all you have to do is win 60% of your games. And you stay exactly where you were. <laughs> Just win 60% of your games. Just gotta keep that 60% win rate. Move up one point. So 20 misfortune again. It's my new least favorite thing to play against. Because we've been playing against it so much. It's our sixth time today to play against it. Yeah, I have been playing Lucian Fury all day. We've been playing for um, about four hours, 15 minutes so far, about four hours, 12 minutes. Um, and we started off real rocky, but we're um, getting better, doing better. We're getting there. I don't usually keep Fury of the North. I did keep Fury of the North this time. Just to be able to have, to be able to, to have like whenever we challenge um, Misfortune and then they save their Misfortune with Fury of the North. That's kind of happened in like the other five games. And so I wanted my own Fury of the North to counter that. So I'm gonna go this way. They kind of passed. I could see them again having Fury of the North. I I don't mind trading these two. Like I'm perfectly fine with that trade. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. And we get to keep high health protege out here. Good time to have Laurent do a list. The give somebody challenger. <laughs> hey, Onion. Misfortune such Wani Dex driving you insane. Yeah, it's pretty popular right now. We're playing against it all the time. I said six times today. No, I mean it's it's also just you know it's just a variance thing. It's just the deck that we are uh, that we are getting matched up against. Definitely feels like they're holding up Fury of the North, right? So I'm gonna force them to block with Misfortune, and then if they want to keep Misfortune alive, they gotta use a Fury of the North. 
<clears throat> there we go. And I don't and I don't want them killing my Lucian while they're doing that. So yeah, got a Fury of the North out of their hands. Got a lot of damage in. Not a bad turn. Pain is nothing. Soldier to me. Blazed. Ride onward. My plan the next turn is Fury of the North on the Grizzled Ranger. Guess they could just take the three though. This pumps these up. Could just take the three. Like that's the thing. If I if I don't play this first, if I wait till after blocks, they may just not block. They may just take three, go to one. Here we go. So I need to like force them to block, or you know have lethal. One of the two. Games are going pretty good today. Uh, really, really started off rough. Um. <laughs> Alright, I guess they get another one. Alright, so that means we... Challenge that. <clears throat> and they have to just chump block the other two. have our two babbling Bjergs to go grab more Sejuanis. Go grab a Grizzled Ranger. Oh. Ugh. Riptide Rex. Alright. Let's miss some folks up. Well, that was a... That was a perfect combination of cards, having a warning shot and a Riptide Rex in hand. It's exactly what they needed. Alright, this should draw Sejuani. I guess it was like 
two out of th two Sejuanis, one Sithria left. I like that duelist. I like that. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Let us settle this with grace and civility. Five mana. <clears throat> I guess I should have gave it to the Babbling Bjerg, because this thing has Vulnerable anyway. I was planning on challenging that to start with. No, I mean, it, it's fine. It doesn't. It's fine. Who does not know the name hey, that's my card. Alright, so we're going to get Riptide Rex down to one health. And then with it being at one health, then we'll use the Sejuani to challenge it with the Vulnerable. But yeah, so I should have gave it to this, because if they use removal, I would still have this half challenger. No! Well, the game was over if they did. If the Mega Rain did not hit that, the game was over. It did not hit my three-one. Like, is this better than just killing the protege? Or, yeah, let's see. What if we do... Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to change that up. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I mean, I guess it was lethal anyway. Okay, I guess no matter what I did, it was lethal. Alright. Yeah, it was over. I forgot about the the one overwhelmed so Sejuani there. All right, but I was going to switch it up and have the 4-2 take out the 0-4 with the vulnerable, and then and then they could only have uh, three health block Sejuani. Ugly. Where's our one mana cards? There's a one mana card. Camera frozen. I will refresh. Okay, there we go. Camera's refreshed. Bites are cooking. Get him. All right, down to sixteen. Be nothing left when I'm done. We have played against three of these decks, and every single game, it's been the exact same thing. It's been turn two. I they play, they pass, and let me attack, and then after. Passing, then they play Dreadway Deckhand. That exact same thing has happened three times. No! And then, and they have Make a Rain. Like, that's. <laughs> played against three Twisted Fate decks. 
All right, so those are those are kind of trade anyway. Um, basically, I don't want them to be able to have black market merchant pilfered goods turned on. Feed Demacia. Feed Demacia. Hey, boo. Doing good. Doing good. We're doing something different that I haven't done before, and that's just spending all day um, ranking up My shield is yours. Uh, with one deck and trying to rank up as much as we can. No Start off real rocky, but we've been doing well recently. We've won nine of the last 12. We've been nine and three in our last 12 games. Keep up, keep up. After going three and three and nine to start with. Start off real rocky. Who does not know the name Laurent? Through the coral. Wish we had two more mana. To be able to play that thing. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Um, yeah, before this current run. We played eight. Yeah, this is our third video. We played eight games, then nine games, and now the now we're on six here. I kind of reset it because after the first one, man, everything was just going wrong, and so I had to just kind of reset mentally and turn it back to zero zero, and then just did it again. That still kills them. Not do that on the not convert fury. They had or like the uh, whatever fervor. That fervor. They had to use the other card. Okay, so yeah, we were two and six, and then. Oh no, I guess I guess we did eight games, then ten games, and then this because we were two and six, then six and four. And now five and two. So we're one game over 500 overall. We started at rank 430 and we're one game over 500 and now we're down to 680. Hmm. Don't really want two, three, three mana cards. It's not Sejuani Misfortune this time. This would be a better hand to be attacking on turn two. Like they have make it rain. All right, 
Alright, same as before. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. Do I want to play Omenhawk first? They have they got one thing that was pumped with Omenhawk unless we have like Lucian on top. Okay, yeah. So they they drew one thing that was uh, pumped up with Omenhawk. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. I think I'm willing to take four. Who does not know the name Laurent? Hey, thank you so much, Fair Vlad. No, that's 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 amazing. Thank you so much. How much was on? Thanks for a great stream. Well, thank you, Fair Vlad. I really appreciate that. Alright, so talk about our worst nightmare. Two mana Senna, but then two mana pumped up Laron Protege. That's our worst nightmare. Got your back. Harry, repost. Uh -huh. So one half Fury of the North in case of other stuff, but now obviously like with them not playing any spells, I wish I would have played at the duelist. Um just now do I save duelist or cast it? I think I save it. The winter's claw. This is my opponent. That's good. Don't get in my way. Because they have all these extra cards, so having that extra mana is really important.
Don't want them using the tracker to kill Lucian. I would have just attacked right away. They would have just taken six. I'm spending a card to kill their tracker, which isn't great. And the tracker's gonna trade with the card no matter what. Dang. Single combat? Great, great turn for them. Bright Seal Protector and single combat and Sejuani. They had a few great turns in a row. No doubt you've heard of me. Show them our teeth. Well fought. There's plenty of killing left. Yeah, Fury's a, a lot better card than Repose. Has a lot more application than Repose does. Lost this one. No room for doubt. Look, Rex, lunch. This land is ours. Good hand, GG. Sejuani so good. Okay, we did lose to this matchup earlier. That's a pretty decent hand though. Plunder cards are fantastic. Black Market Merchant Pilfer Goods. They are fantastic. Especially against like Omen Hawk. Like we had like that game that... That turn four that they had was completely ridiculous. Two mana, you know, getting a two mana Senna and then a two mana pumped up 3-5 protege that turn was insane they just had against me they're as good as dead you're adorable when you're angry All right, like that's that's the turn they won that game Um, I'm not sure if Sejuani needs a nerf. 
I don't know if I would say that. It is the best. I mean, it is the best champion. But there always has, like, something has to be the best, right? So just because something's the best doesn't mean it needs a nerf. So basically, I don't want I don't want transfusion to be messing up with anything here. Yeah, Shadow Isles has taken a ton of hits. Um, it's not. It's not as good. It's one of the weaker uh, regions now. Break their spirits and their swords. There's always a way out. They don't play defense particularly well. Tread lightly, strike hard. So I need, I'm fighting here with the 5-3. I need, I just need to make sure that Transfusion doesn't kill me. You know, they can't save this thing with Transfusion. This also obviously levels up Dilution, which isn't bad either. But this is at best, we're going to four. It's a good chance that we lose this. This was a great, uh, great hand for them. Good chance that we lose this. Just basically because all they need is four points of burn now. Silent as death. I demand satisfaction. My gun does the talking. Purity and peace. Aha! Hardly fair. <clears throat> I can only play one Fury of the North. I, guess I can only play one Fury of the North, right? Maybe I should have... I probably should have just played the... Yeah, I should have just gone with the Sith 3, shouldn't I? I was thinking, like, Fury of the North, finish them out, but... It's not going to... But this this block was really bad. Blocking Omen Hawk makes no sense. That block is really poor. Oh, Will of Ionia. I guess that's why it makes sense, because Will of Ionia. I forgot that was in their deck. Alright, never mind. Sorry, opponent. Makes sense now. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem for you on my side. Well. All I have to do is cast that thing. Yeah, that was that was bad by me. Hang on, Fuzzball! Hey! Alright, getting tired. That was a bad. That was a bad game by me. I mean, if I, so if I would have played Sithria, they would have just bounced the Sithria right away, so I would have lost. Um, but basically, I didn't need to cast that. Like, I really like that. That Fury of the North just wasn't necessary because um, I didn't recalibrate with that transfusion. I did have three things dying in front of the Lucian, so the Lucian would have leveled up. So like, the Lucian was actually already lethal. So the Fury of the North was completely unnecessary. Um, all right, well, let's try one more. This is this is where I was planning on ending. 
but we lost that one and we lost two in a row. I don't really want to end on losing two in a row. I, I really hope we don't lose this one and then lose three in a row. That'd be bad. Let's try to get this one and... So you know what? Let's keep single combat. It's a good card. We're we're facing an, another aggressive deck. I'm actually here. A real battle. Be Demacia. Okay. I'll write my own story. To the base, Attack. Well, Protégé is good against 2-2s. Two Two-two. Two. 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 Who possibly doesn't know the name Laurent? Spell that? A fight to cook it! All right, keeping single combat available in case we need it. So why use Sithria when you can play Jagged Butcher? I, I, I would assume they have Jagged Butcher also, but I would also assume they have Fleet Feather Tracker over Sithria. So they must have more than six one drops. It's the only thing I can figure out. Feel the set off. Day, this thing this thing will just come back as a 2-2. I'm just not worried about a 2-2. I don't need to single combat that and try to take it out. It's it's a 2-2. I'd rather get the Badger Bear out of there for free when that would have been a 3-2. Hey, Lens Hunter. Gold for the first time today? Good job. Good job. Let's see. Alright, let's mess some folks up. I don't love how this trades with Scythria. Like, I don't love that. It's possible I just don't even use the scout? And just pump this up? That's annoying. You call this a fight? Here we go. 
All right, I guess I'll have a trade with Cypria now. <laughs> yeah, I think you, I think you missed heard that, Harley. Good draw. Alright, so we have our Demacia deck. As you see him play with the Freljord spells. Help it out. You own what you take. Bad Cetria. A symbol worth fighting for. Hmm. They have misfortune on top, probably. I assume we're gonna win this. That's a pretty fair. It's a pretty fair assumption. We know they have a Bilgewater card in hand. I don't think there's any Bilgewater card that stops this Fury of the North. Go ahead. Scare me. Fight like the animal you are. I'll just do this over here so that a single combat doesn't save them. End on a win. All right, so overall, a disappointing day for sure. I I really um, wanted to, you know, I was hoping that we we're gonna rank up pretty high today, um, but you know, uh, ran into. <laughs> Thanks, Ev Evrimka. GGS. Um, yeah, I thought that we were going to be. Uh, ranking up a lot higher than what we did. But that's how it goes. You know, it doesn't always go your way. That's how life goes. You know, life's not, doesn't always go your way. We started the day. What's up, Bassy Bear? So kind of coming into the day, I was 21 and two with this deck. And we started at around 400 rank, 450, 460, something like that. 70 <clears throat> and we did finish with a winning record but actually no actually no actually we ended up completely 500 on the day actually um over the videos we went two and six and then six and four six and four over the three videos so we and so going 500 we dropped about 300 ranks so that that's what happens but yeah, just it hadn't ever had as much trouble with this deck before. We did play against a ton of Misfortune Sejuani and some different versions of that. Some Misfortune with a couple of other things, some Sejuani with some couple other things. That was, you know, maybe half of the games or close to it were either Misfortune or Sejuani or some kind of variation there. Of um, Definitely over half were Bilgewater and Freljord. Um uh and uh yeah you know like those those decks are are very similar like you know like what they were doing and what i'm doing is very similar like they're playing a whole lot of things out they got fury of the north i'm playing a whole lot of things out got fury of the north and so some you know we would win some of them lose some of them you know like it was they were very similar decks um uh let's see um, and yeah, we did play against a couple Sejuani Ash. We did lose both of those. I made a mis I made a couple mistakes in one of the games, but yeah, the Frostbite really helped uh, in the first game. Um, but there we go. So th this is something I haven't really I haven't done anything uh, like this before. I I always um, you know play four different decks every single day. That's what I do every day here on stream is play four different decks a day. And so this is my first time to uh, go through and spend an entire day playing the same deck. 
with this with the purpose of ranking up that hasn't been anything that i've actually really tried to do before so obviously it didn't go the best but you know that's that's life um but uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think about this on YouTube. Because I know on YouTube, I'm going to have I played like three different videos basically of this. So we'll have three separate Lucian Fury. So let me know if, if y'all liked that, um, if you prefer the, the other way, or you know if you like me every once in a while. This is not something that I'm going to be changing like the stream to do this all the time. This would be every once in a while, um, every few weeks, uh, you know, play, um, spend a whole day playing one deck trying to get high up in master's rank uh so yeah let me know how y'all like that all right but anyway uh that's it here for lucian fury this is still again my pick for uh, my my favorite deck to rank up with my best deck to rank up with of course um even after some of our losses today but still good deck all right the, uh yep that's all i got here though so thanks thanks everybody for watching and i'll see you for the next video